Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spy Daily Challenges. This is August 15, 2018. We are here to play as the silent. That would not be the ironclad. It would just be a bit too much to ask for an ironclad run. You know, just a couple of ironclad runs in here. I'm just being a little facetious, but in the same time I'm not because I kind of need a little bit of ironclad in my life. It's getting a little bit old playing the silent and the defect over and over and over and over and over. And over. But that's what we gotta do. Anyway, we are here we're sitting on a grand total of nine victories and four losses right now. Um, we will have the Brewmaster modify, Binary modify, and Horde modify. Three modifiers that I don't mind too much. They're all okay. They're all pretty good. They're pretty um, normal. Binary is like counted by the fact that Horde gives you three of each card. So we're gonna be trying to get as much collector bonuses as possible while trying to maintain a deck that can actually happen. The only problem is. Alchemize, or Brewmaster rather, and Hoarder are the worst combination cards ever. Because we're going to get 15 potions cards on in the beginning of the game. Which sucks. So I hate that, by the way, but it is what it is. Here's our first elites. Here's a secondary elite, third elite. So we want a three elite path. So I take this one here. This one looks good. I don't really care too much about how we approach it. So energy potion off the bat was very nice. This is an opportunity to. Get a little bit of uh, a little bit of something more going on turn one than you usually would. So just take out one so long, make another potion. Uh, artifact potion not good enough. Dex potion not good enough. In turn, really hoping for something a little bit and what we can't do. Another dex potion. I'll use it. We'll use the defend. Make a potion. Uh, thorn potion also really not worth. But I'll drink it. That way I get six thorns. So he will kill himself. And potion. Another thorn potion still not good enough. A block potion. That's better. There you go. That's a much better start. Swift Potion I already have, so move on. I'll give me Blur. Even though it's Block and we kind of have a deficit in the damage department right now. I'm going to take the Blur for now and see what happens. Oh, that was a big misplay by me. Um, huge, 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 huge. So I will actually use Storm of Steel right a bit. And that's just because I need to actually do a little bit of damage to this guy in some kind of way. And to get 24 damage in the first turn is not too bad. So let's use Alchem Potion. It's the Thorns. Let's use a, uh, another Alchemize. It's a weak impression. Let's weaken him, defend, and move on. Anyway, he's going to get very strong very quickly, so we don't want to delay this too long. But uh, we'll see how long we can delay it for before it gets uh, out of hand. Out of hand. If it gets to the point where we start taking more damage than we're negating, then I'll consider... Well, this is horrible, but we get a free Alchemize at least. Then I'll consider potentially... Uh, discard that. Oh, that's fine. Then I'll consider potentially just going for the kill. A quicker, quicker kill. But for now, I think we still in the final place. I'll use one of these. Let's use the block potion again. Mm. I will poison you. This poison's not good enough to carry on. I'll keep the card. Oh, we got another poison. Again. I guess it's not going to matter. But he's dead next. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter. But I was trying to see if I could delay it for something I wanted more. Weak potion's probably worth a little bit more than a poison potion for us. Maybe we're going a little bit fast. I don't know. Uh, here's our first elite. Second elite, third elite, that's off the shop too. That's a good path. I'll take this in case we get the money thing. Upgrade a card. Um, upgrade Alchemize. Making Alchemize is free is kind of a big deal. Simply because you want that. Um, oh, we just got three regrets. I might regret that. I kind of forgot about the regret problem we were going to be facing. But, you know, that's kind of my own bad. That's my own bad. I uh, should have been paying better attention than what I was. Play it, play it, armor for now. So we're going to take a lot of regret damage in this one. But we got rid of two regrets already. So out of the bat, we have less regrets to worry about. And that, that's a big deal. Nice. Let's use this Dewa Potion. Take you out. A little damage here. Use Alchemize. It's a power card. We can take that on. Intangible is nice to try and get some perfects. So I'm going to use the card draw right now. Because I want to... Um, I want to uh, get... I want like... Um, Good stuff. Stuff that's actually going to be really good for the, the upcoming elite fight. The potions that are going to be good for the upcoming elite fight. I'll actually keep that. That could be really good for the... Ooh, Bouncing Plus. Hell yes. Because, um, I, I, yeah, as I said, I really want to make sure I get some kind of benefit for the upcoming elite fight. And this is very nice right off the bat. So I'm going to pop the Stereo Potion here too. Since we wake him up anyway, let's wake him up proper. Neutralize him. And then, of course, you Bouncing Plus. So we got a little bit of poison going. I think that was a very important play getting that big a load of poison up so we've got an intangible here so right now we don't have to take any block damage so i'm going to start with this i'm going to go for one of these get rid of this regret use blur 
I'm going to use... How does this work? Block is not to move the star next turn. So if we block now... I'm going to use Alchemize instead. But even though maybe blocking was better to have more block next turn. But we're going to have four already. Which could be good. Potentially. We're going to have to see how it goes. Another intangible. This is absolutely beautiful. And we get a lot of good damage. So we should be able to perfect this elite. Getting those two intangible potions I got was... Was lucky. I'm not, I'm not going to deny it. it. It is what it is. And it was a lucky play. But... I'm going to choose to believe that I chose that lucky play. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm going to use the Gambler's Brew and get rid of this regret. I want to just try and maximize the uh, amount of HP I keep. So I don't have to heal as much. I think we don't need a Fear Potion. I will take... I'll take Dagger Spray because of the Sentries and a couple of the other annoying, annoying enemies in the game. Started by Dagger Spring you to end this right away. I'm gonna drink the energy potion. Alchemize, drink this. Hello, drink that. And let's strike him once. We're gonna discard this potion song because I never wanted my inventory because I'm scared I accidentally use it. I have done it before when I thought it was a different type of card. I, if I remember correctly, I think I thought it was a Gambler's Brew once and then I ended up getting rid of it and I regret it. I'm gonna take the pets here because it's another way to get rid of the regrets. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll actually upgrade instead. I think I want to upgrade more. Alchemizer slash Bouncing Floss slash Prepared. Uh, I'm going to upgrade another, another Alchemizer for now. The more Alchemizer we get that are free, the more potential turns we get. Because Alchemizers are... That's actually fine. That's actually fine. Because now if we draw, we pick up a curse. When we pick up a curse, which is almost guaranteed to happen, it will only pick up a singular curse, which is, of course, very important for us. Steroid potion, drink this potion, let's take sneaky strike. Beam. I'll make another potion and I will use a block potion. So we're gonna take one here, but he's on like 13, so I'm not too worried about this. Neutralize him. We can make a potion for free, make a potion for free, and then you bouncing floss and this fight's over. Play a blur for fun and get a couple of cards for the next set. Hmm. I'm going to take another Dagger Sprayer, but I think Explosion Potion might be worth more than the Weakness Potion if we get the Sentries. So I'm going to go for it. Interesting start. I think I will Vulnerable you, and then I will Regret you. I will get rid of the Regret by doing that. Use the Alchemize. I'm going to gain the Artifact to use the Alchemize. Gambler's Brew is not what I want. Get a little bit of Poison going. We could play a Power Card here and get a Power Card if we want to try for Perfect, but I'll keep it in mind for the next one and see how it goes. We would need intangibles here to perfect, and I don't think that's likely to happen, so... Do some damage. Do some damage. I mean... What po what power could we get? Let's think about it logically. What power could we get that can give us perfect here? There isn't one. There isn't one on the Awaken, on the side. Actually, Wraith Form would give us a perfect if we got Wraith Form. I'm gonna do it in the hopeful Wraith Form. Oh my word, am I secretly a genius? Is this what's happening? Did I secretly know that I would get Wraith Form from that power card? I think I must have known, because how else would I have made such an amazing play? Okay, anyway, that was uh, interesting. Let's let this end. Beautiful. No, that's another perfect. And top bandages is pretty good because we do discard. Vision potion, not important. Poison stab, dagger spray. I'll go poison stab here. I think having another dagger spray is probably a bad idea. No, upgrade another alchemize. Moving on. I'm just gonna upgrade as many alchemize as we can along the path to our beautiful elite fight. Uh, uh -oh. gain two strength, tiny chest mayhem. So, oh, they changed man. That looks cool. Escape plan is really good. And uh, I'll take tiny chest, but I don't think it was necessary. Another elite. Yeah, I knew the sentries would come up eventually, guys. I you had to believe that the sentries would like, would come up eventually. So. Let's think. First thing I want to do is probably drink this, and then we're going to drink this too. Okay, Alchemize for free, obviously. Get an attack off for free. Let's go for... Let's go for... I think this is the better one. Backstab. It just has 11. It's going to be so much better for us anywhere we look at it. Um, paired here. Yeah, get rid of a free regret. I like it. That's 6 block right now. 6 block right now. Um... I think you do dagger spray here. Ooh, dagger spray is actually not bad. I misunderstood it. I'm gonna use the dex and I'm gonna use the blur here, and that's gonna give us a lot of block that carries over the next turn. And I think that is the right way to play this. Because we take we have seven extra block for next turn. So if we don't kill someone, at least we've got seven block to get us closer 
to that uh, perfect we are trying to attain. So if I kill you, I can block. He will die to the, the uh, spikes, and then the other guy will only have 12 HP. So, perfect is looking likely right now. We do need a... Oh, never mind. Perfect is guaranteed. I right, take it back. Duvudol is actually really good because we added those three curses. Give me... Who's our boss? Got it. Give me a sucker punch then. We're gonna go up, and we're going to upgrade another alchemist. It's, it's a long process to upgrade all the alchemizers in our deck, but we have to. Having the three extra strength is huge, by the way. It's huge. So I think I'm going to drink this. I'm going to drink this. And I will take the Noxious Fumes. I will play it immediately. Use a little bit of that alchemizer action. Play that. Use a little of this alchemizer action. Play that. Get uh, after image. Play after image. Use alchemize. Get a region potion. Drink it. Go dagger spray. Go dagger spray. And uh, go dagger spray. That's, that's a good first turn. I think that's a very good first turn. 9 incoming damage, a little bit much actually, because we don't really have the block to make that happen right now. Uh, use blur, that's 7 block. 8 block. I think the dex thing. Do gambler's brew. Get some more block. Get even more block. And in our turn, bouncing floss would have been so good for us there. We just couldn't get it to happen unfortunately. But it is what it is. So that's a lot of incoming damage. Intangible, that's 0 incoming damage. An attack card. I mean, Riddle of Holes feels really tempting. I'm going to take Sneaky Strike because I think we don't want to Riddle of Holes here. I mean, oh, we should have maybe Riddle of Holes. I'll never know whether that was the right choice or not. Do I want to Snickle right now? I think I'll wait on the Snickle. That intangible is a clutch pickup, by the way. Very nice. Okay, so he's got 13. So we don't actually have to do that much damage to him. This does 7, so that's 14 damage right there. 23. This will give 9. 9 plus 13 is not enough. So we need to suck a punch here. So now, right now he is going into his uh, defensive mode as soon as the turn ends. So let's just let that happen. And we can carry some block over for the next turn. Blur is actually such a good card. Who would have thought? Ooh, that's regret. It's a little bit regrettable. I will go for one of these. Uh, I don't want to use that. We should be um, we should be fine on the um, damage front. Now we need 18 block. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now we will snack oil. Didn't work out too great. Just prepared. Go to the strike, I guess. Didn't work out either. We got four block out of it though. Uh, get some more block. It's up to 12 block right now. And we can weaken it. And we are going to have be perfect. Perfect still intact, baby. Perfect still intact. As long as we keep that perfect intact, we are in a good place. Alchemize. A little bit of that strength potion. Not bad. Another alchemize. One of these potions. Not too good. Give me something huge. Um, give me seven block. There's no way we're knocking him down. So we would need enough block here to not take damage. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. Anyway, we look at it. So even if we use... Blur, we're going to get 7 plus 1, which is 8 plus 8. It's 20. It's exactly 20. So we're going to keep our perfect. Perfect still intact, baby. Perfect still intact. Sometimes you just have to believe. And as you can all see, I believed. And due to that fact, I got the perfect. Oh, great. I'll use another alchemist and I will put a little bit of extra poison. you make you die slightly faster. So he's going to go into his defensive form again, which is really nice. And all we need to do now is just pretty much end our turn. But uh, we could get like one or two Alchemizes in. Eh, exactly one Alchemizes in. So I'll use Alchemizes and I will end my turn. And that should let him die to poison. And that's a perfect. There we go. We did it. Easy peasy. It wasn't right for a second. Bullet time or thousand cuts. I do play quite a lot of cards. So thousand cuts is tempting. So expensive though. What is your upgrade? Two damage. So bad. What is your upgrade? Two energy, right? Also kind of bad. We don't have a lot of card draw right now. We do have card draw in our uh, dagger, uh, dagger throw and our uh, um, prepared. So I don't want bullet time. I don't think I want thousand cuts either. I'm just gonna skip both of these. We got your Pandora's box strike. Transform. If we transform all strikes in the fence, we're gonna get ten more cards. 
but are not strikes and defense and they're going to be multiplied by three so that's going to give us a fuck ton of cards which means a lot of collector bonus points so i'm going to do it so he's got three prepares, three dagger sprays, three banes, three piercing whales, three flying knees, three wildlife planes, three slides, three clock and dagger, three suck punch, and three backflip. That's going to uh, finish quite a few collector's bonuses as well as give us a lot of extra cards to play around with. Now only the problem is we need to figure out how to play around those. There's two elites there, two elites there. That's a two elite path already. So we have to go on one of these paths. Um, I don't want to get to early shops. I'm going to go for like this, but then I don't get through any bonfires. That's always scary if not going through a bonfire is always scary. While I plant, while I plant, cloak and dagger, shove it up, pierce some, uh, dagger spread. Uh, do I want to apply one week? The adrenaline. Uh, apply one week is fine. And then dagger spray. It's not eight. If I used the strength potion, he would be dead. Keep dagger spray. We could have kept. Only one still? I thought they would let me keep two cards. No, I'm not sure exactly how that one's math works, but uh, it doesn't matter. Getting the uh, Duvador here was actually huge there. I'm going to take the slice, even though I think I have six now. So. Um, I'll get cursed because we're only going to get... Wait, we got none of them? Does it block? Oh, it blocks all of them. Okay, I thought it would block two, and I would get one. And I actually wanted one, so that sucks a little bit for me, but it's okay. Backflip. A pissing rap. And then I'll end it with a sucker punch on you. Mm, maybe should have played some of these, I guess, but it's okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. I'm about a little quite a bit of. Mm, a little, never mind. Take, let's take it back. Escape plan. Alchemist. Strength potion. Entropic brew. Neutralize. Prepared. What about our plans? Dagger spray. Prepared. 11 block, a little bit of attack card. Let's get that a die, that a die up in here, and we're feeling good. We're feeling really good right now. And this is the power of Brewmaster. Brewmaster is just nice because what Brewmaster allows is it builds up a situation for you where you, um, I'm gonna go for the this route with the monsters instead. Uh, what's nice about it is it builds up a situation for you where you can you can get ahead of the curve. You know what I mean? Which is very nice. Okay, so pick up the dagger. They survive. I get rid of regret. Pay the. Oh, we do not need that. We have more than enough block. I take it back. One on you. One on you. One on you. And I will weaken you too, just in case I need to. I am valuable for two turns, so it might be necessary. Use a uh, prepared. Give it a bullet plants. Use prepared. Give it a regret. Use sucker punch. Use dagger spray. Use the blur. Perfect amount of block. Even though we are vulnerable, feels good. Eight income damage. Not too bad. Escape plan. Um, how about we dagger throw here? Get rid of a cloak and dagger. A little bit of an alchemize action. Ooh, nice little energy potion. I like it a lot. Some of this going. Some of that going. Some of this going. There we go. We get a potion after every fight, so I'm not too worried about. How I approach this? Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna start off a little bit prepared. Actually, we don't need the bane. Ah, uh, mm, bane does ten. Uh, escape plan. Okay, didn't work out this time. Let's in, let's vulnerable you and then slice you, slice you. Dagger spray, alchemist, energy potion, poison stab, piercing whale, and we should be fine. Good. No damage getting taken. He's putting arm on, but he's not healing, so that's very important. It means we can potentially kill him next turn with a little bit of a suck punch action. Gotta go and alchemize them. We can use one of these, and one of these, and end of turn. So not too great a turn. She's going to heal for 16. That's okay. 8 incoming damage. Unfortunately for you, I don't really care about incoming damage. So at the same time, your life sucks, balls, but it is what it is. I don't know. I guess I was looking for a free... Um, I guess I was looking for a free... Alchemize? Since we have so many in the deck, you know, thought maybe we would shop. I don't think we need two dex potions, we need a bit of one. There we go. So far, everything is going just perfectly. Not feeling too bad about anything happening here. Everything feels good. We've got a little bit of a synergy going, kind of, a little bit. So it's not too bad. Okay. 
Do we need to think about this? So I'm going to start with the escape plan. We dig a little block. Go escape plan. We got a little bit more block. Um, I think you do want a piercing whale right off the bat. Okay, how much damage do we got? We already have a perfect amount of HP. Uh, and by HP, I mean a perfect amount in the form of our stuff. I'm going to definitely go. I think I'm definitely going to go for the damage here over the alternative. Taking blur here would actually be so good for next turn. I think I'm going to gamble a bit and take blur because we have double damage next turn. I'm hoping I can make it work, but it's going to be 50-50 at least, whether we're perfect or not. This one's going to be a little bit harder for us to perfect, but uh, could still happen. Backflip. A little bit of that slice action. No, dagger throw. No, slice. Mm, poison. No. Uh, dagger throw. Mm, prepare. This dagger throw. Get rid of a prepared. That's one down. And uh, perfect is still intact. Um, we oh we were weakened. That's why it was a little bit harder there. But so far perfect still intact. Let's hope we can keep it. A little bit of that dagger fraction is going to be very nice. Don't prepare it. Get rid of the bane. We're going to have to use alchemize and pray. It was not what we needed to be. So no perfect fast in this fight. It's okay. It was a very difficult perfect none to get in the first place. But uh, I was hoping. I had hope. Unfortunately, I was not lucky enough to let that happen. But now that we've got a little bit of time to kind of delay this fight, I'm just going to never mind. I was going to delay it, but then I accidentally killed him, so... My bad. Nice little free chest, I like it a lot. We should probably start looking at what cards we're adding to the deck at this point. Let's keep this in mind in the future. Um, please give me a... A artifact. Oh, it was not artifact. Okay. A little bit unlucky we didn't get an artifact there, but it's okay. Would have loved to have kept that strength for the next couple of rooms. But it is a... It's not that it's difficult, but it is a little bit of a gamble. Uh, Envenom me, I think, is the better choice here. I should probably play the Envenom first in the future before using the attacks. Let's keep that in mind. I'm actually straight up going to poison you, bomb you right away. And get you as low as possible so I can get as close as possible to potential kills. Uh, oh, every time we draw Dagger Spray, we just feel so sexy about it. It just feels like it's meant to be. And that's a perfect little elite fight. Very easy, very nice. Okay, give me more of those, please. Bag of Marbles is so good. I don't want another Alchemize, and I don't want to skewer either, because we don't have energy creation, so I'm actually just going to take the max HP here. I think that's a great turn to get some max HP. Now we've got choices. We've got lots of choices on where to go and what to do. The 294 gold, the shop does seem tempting. Um, question mark is, do I want to go to a shop, or do I want to go to a lot of bonfires? And I think I actually want to go to a lot of bonfires, ironically. Bottled Flame. Very interesting. I think I'll add a Dagger Throw to the opening hand, or do I add a Dagger Spray to it? Who's our boss? Collector. Don't want a dagger spray on the opening hand in that case. So let's go for a dagger throw. That's quite a good amount of damage. So we got like this. Okay, it doesn't matter which one we do. So let's fight an enemy first. I prefer fighting enemies first. It makes me feel like I've made the better choice. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But I like to believe it makes sense. So I'm going to choose to believe it makes sense. Get rid of the repaired. Get up to nine block. Fuck that snake oil. Let's go. Did not work out. Okay. <laughs> we are taking one damage here. I gambled a little bit. I gambled a little bit. I was like... Bitch, I want a snicker oil. And then snicker oil was like, you can do it, but I wouldn't I recommend it. It's, I'm actually going to vulnerable you here. So I think that was a very bad snicker oil. And the snicker oil might come to bite us in the butt. Because I think it's very cheap right off the bat. So we get a lot of uh, cheap stuff. Which is worth more for me, I think. Okay, so it is dead and we didn't end up taking too much damage there, but... We lost a lot of, uh, how many banes do I have? How many banes do I have in the stack? That I know of, I've got three, maybe more. Take a bane, let's end it up with all in here. Okay, let's upgrade another alchemize. We just want to upgrade as many alchemizes as possible in this deck. Wall paint could potentially upgrade the bomb. That looks super cool. Discovery, choose one of three cards to add to your hand. It costs zero the stone exhaust. That's such a nice card. Adding three of those would be so good. I think I do want wall paint though. And upgraded to Alchemize and Survive, which is kind of exactly what I will buy in Tropic Brew here. And with the money left, I think I will go for a Blade Dance. I actually like it. And I think that will finish our collector bonus for it anyway. So, Smith, upgrade our Alchemize. Probably should be upgrading Blade Dances and stuff like that here. But I've kind of committed to this Alchemize thing. And I want to see if it's potentially possible for me to upgrade every single Alchemize in this deck. Because that would be freaking cool. Wouldn't that be hilariously cool? I think it would be freaking funny. Uh, let's get rid of... Probably one of these... I'm gonna get rid of the... Uh, i get rid of the Sucker Punch for now, I think. Let's drink the Dex Potion. Let's drink the Entropic Brew. See what we get. A little bit of that Stored Action. It feels really nice. 
Um, and now you want to go for a slice here, one of these, one of these. You are done. One of that. Uh, give it a backflip here and then use a backstab. You are also done. That takes down two of them right off the bat. I'll keep the next poison. Really want to artifact and a steward potion combo in this deck at some point. It'll be really good. So here I'm just trying to like almost delay the game for myself to get stuff I want to see. And that's all very good. So we can do some damage in. That's all really nice. Having uh, played Army Intangible is pretty much a guaranteed perfect, or not perfect, but a guaranteed way to not take damage, which is something we do care about quite a lot. And um, of course, the energy burst is just good because we get to play more cards. So that worked out great. I think I've got enough prepareds in the deck though. Like, I'm sure we have more than six. Yeah, we got like six. So we got like, oh my. Frick. One. Two. Three. Four. We have fucking 12 prepareds. That's too many prepareds, game. Let's smith another alchemist. I'm committing to this alchemist smithing motherfucking deal. And let's see how much we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight upgraded alchemizers really. Eight! Upgrade Alchemize, that's insane. Start up by drinking the Planet Armor. Start up by using the Energy card. I'm not even going to waste time here. I'm going to go prepared. I'm going to get rid of Piercing Whale, obviously. We're going to use Wallet Plants. We're going to use this Flay Dance. We're going to use the Dagger Throw. Hope for something better. We didn't get anything really better, but it's okay. Use this. Horrible first turn for ourselves here. It's really a bad one. Get that, rid of that Bane. The Bane would have actually been super good there, but it is what it is. So we got a, quite a bit of damage on the first turn, but... It's not a powerful first turn. I've had stronger, so I'm a little bit upset about it. But we do have one um, of these, which is good. I kind of just want to murder all of you, so. Without taking damage, but I think, I'm, I, think I will be taking damage here. I don't think there's almost any way around that. So you are dead. I do not need to worry about you anymore. And you, I just need to. I kill you, and then I'll be fine. This is a, that's a lot of incoming damage. Free Alchemize, make it happen. Strength potion drink and tangible drink. Beautiful. Use a blur. Use a blade dance. Use one of these. Use one of these. And then, I mean, I could hit you, but it's not going to make a difference. But I want to do it anyway. Get the poison stab for next turn. Perfect is technically still intact. And we're even carrying eight block over. But he's going to uh, do the annoying vulnerable thingies right now. So, it sucks. For us. I think keeping him, um, what's him called, for longer here is worth a little more. I'm going to end my turn. I'm going to keep the Dagger Spray in case he summons again. Because I want to have a way to deal with uh, the two minions. So here comes the Vulnerable, Intangible, and uh, Vulnerable, Frail, and Weakness. Oh, 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 this is where we can may potentially go wild. Absolutely wild. Nightmare. Dagger Spray for me for next turn, please. Flying Need up in here. I'm going to use another Alchemize and then Dagger Spray. End my turn. Keep an Alchemize. We're getting three Dagger Spray. So if he summons, which I don't think he does. I think he just blocks and buffs. Now he's summoning. But it's not going to matter because we're going to have a trillion of these. But we're not going to ironically want them, which is... It's, it's, it's definitely ironic because we kind of put them in the deck and then we didn't end up needing them. But, you know, how did we know we were going to get so many Banes that we wanted to see, you know? Does this kill you? Yes, you did. Okay. We just perfect this connected too. So that feels really nice. That's two perfects in a row. Uh, so our Beyond Perfect is on track right now, which is always good. Oh, puppy, fire and light. I hope I have some belief. Um, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky, 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 tricky one. Like, Venom is so good for us, but it's so expensive. Two energy is too expensive. Uh, together they really good. If I just take the max HP here. It's just we can't play in Venom. It's just too expensive. I'm just going to take the max HP. In Venom is really good. But we can't take... I will take Kursky. Because I've got one Omomori proc left. And I want to get the curse bonus. Which I need two more curses to get. Elite, elite, elite. Secondary elite. There's only one part that is two elite. So we have to take it. But that path sucks for us. Do we only fight one elite in this path then? We could just fight one elite. I mean, we don't have to do two elites every time. I mean, the elite bonus is worth something. Oh, man. This is so unfortunate for me. Because this path's horrible to this elite. It's so horrible. It's like the most horrible... I'm, I'm going to do one elite. Fuck it. I'm going to do one elite today. I always do two elites today. So, they're going to be there. I'm going to change up my, my playstyle a bit, you know? I'm going to go for that little bit of that one elite action. Change it up. Sometimes life you gotta change it up, man. It's just how it is. Mm. 
I'm actually taking damage here. Fuck it. I don't want to take damage. Use a block potion. Let's go. I don't want to take any damage, game. I'm an anti-damage boy. I don't believe in damage. Damage is not in my repertoire. He's dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's like super dead. Good. Steroid potion is lovely. Very lovely. Uh, I will take some backflips, yes. Hey, interact. Get some colorless cards. How fucking yes. Uh, secret technique or blind. Who's our boss? Stone and Decker? No, awaken one. Give me secret technique. What have we got here? Metamorphosis. Add three random attack cards into your draw power. They cost you other combat. Um, max HP. And what we got here? Think you hit? Fuck yes. That's great. You can pretty much pay 10 HP for 6 max HP if you use the what's call it. It's really good. Um, I'm going to pop steroids right, up, right off the bat. It's going to save me some time. One of these. Get rid of uh, this. Get some of that. A little bit of sucker punch action. And some of this. I don't know what. I guess I was hoping for a zero costing card. I don't know. Let's keep uh, Dagger Spray because she's probably going to summon a friend. There we go. Hello, friend. My name is Pierre. It's not really Pierre, but it would be cool if it was. Let's get rid of the Bouncing Flosky. I'm not going to need that. Let's get rid of one of these. Let's get rid of the Bouncing Flosky again. Use a wallet plan. Let's do a little bit of secret technique. What would you even want to find? Um, in this case, probably the slice because it's free. Use a dagger spray first, then use the slice. Wait, why do we have full energy? Oh, curse key. I love curse key. Curse key is one of my favorite cards in the game, by the way. I really love it. I'm gonna take some of my coke. You guys might hear. Nope, never mind. Didn't make any noise. Slightly embarrassing. I was like, yeah. Give me that uh, coke opening noise, and the game is like, uh, or not. You have no poison. Oh, you have poison. You get a bane, bitch. Get baned. Get dagger sprayed. Get dagger sprayed. Over. Poison potion? Eh. How many dagger sprays do you have in the deck? Like 80? One, two, three. <laughs> I have so many dagger sprays in this deck. Holy shit. Okay, give me a sneaky strike. Yeah, give me a sneaky strike. I actually have quite a lot of discard in this deck, so I believe in it. Ooh, potion ball. Fuck yes. Hell yes, baby. I wish I could buy one of these steroid potions, but I'm short, but... how oh, fucking yes. Potion ball was exactly what we wanted. Can I really lose a gold? Fuck yes. 29 gold for weakness potion. Oh, really? Feels good, man. Feels good. I like it. This is what I'm talking about. So you get prepared. You get rid of a prepared. You get some block. You get sneak a strike. It gives you your energy back. You use one of this. Use this. You should have used this maybe earlier because it might give you something like a venom. Can I just make a mental note to start to start using my freaking cards? Just saying. It could be really good. Like, really good. You know what I'm saying? Like, insanely good. I'm actually going to give you more poison here. And I'm also going to bomb you. And then I'm going to use blow. And I'm going to carry over, like, four block for next turn. I don't think a floor... Blah, blah, four, not floor. Floor is, unfortunately, not a word. Although, it could be. Potentially. I'm going to get rid of the dagger spray. We don't want to do damage anyway. Alchemist. Artifact potion. Alchemist. And attack potion. Mm, okay, we need energy. Give me a card that gives me energy. None of you give me energy. And there's agony. And there's agony. We still have our perfect intact. What am I saying? Maybe we should have kept attacking good. The poison still stacks. This is a big damage turn for us. So prepared. Get rid of the piercing whale, I guess. Okay, so we want to go big damage. So do this. Do this. Do that. It was a pretty big damage turn. I'm not. I don't think we're gonna perfect this guy because of intangible. It always fucks up perfect. 33 incoming damage. It's way too much incoming damage, by the way. In case you want in game, I don't want to be that guy, but that's way too much incoming fucking damage. Yeah, there's no way to perfect this. Actually, apparently there is, because he somehow died while he was intangible. Wait, does boot ignore intangible and still does five damage? Is this true? I mean, concentrate's not bad. I'm gonna take the max HP there, but does boot ignore? I think boot actually ignores. I didn't want. I was literally didn't want to go to a shop. That's why I took this part. And then what did you do? You put a shop in front of me. You evil game. That is just cruelty. It's cruelty, I tell you. Okay, so we want to we get some poison on him, so we can bane him. I'm going to slice him. I'm going to probably uh, dagger spray him. I'm going to maybe uh, go for some more dagger spray. Eh, it's okay first turn. It's not great. It's not a great first turn. It could be better. 
Escape plan. Prepare. A bit of a uh, poison. We're gonna use a. Uh, we potentially should have used the artifact there. I'm starting to think about it, and I'm thinking, 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 and I'm realizing that was a good idea. Think ahead. I get rid of wallet plans. Let's go piercing well. Get that attack down. 16. That's dealable. I can deal with 16. Skill potion. Give me leg sweep. Use the leg expression. Use the leg sweep. Uh, use the poison stab. Then do a little bit of that banging action. We are taking damage. Secret technique can go find us a free attack though. Are you weakened? You're already weakened. Uh, we had discarded, right? We can't play this thing like we only have one engine in hand. Even if we, even though we have discarded, we can't play it. We only have one engine in hand. So we own zero damage in card. Let's take uh, neutralize, I guess. It weakens them and does a little bit of damage. Then we should probably bane because it does the most damage. Yeah, we're gonna take a little. Uh, we're not gonna take anything here, actually. We will probably take next time unless we kill him. It's definitely doable. He's already dead. Okay, nice. That feels good, guys. Doesn't that feel really good? Don't you all feel a lot better about that? Let's see weapon. I don't even know what you want to find. Quick slash, I guess. Whatever. Who cares? He's dead. That's all that matters. Mmm. Max HP me. Uh, how many backflips do I have? Do I have six backflips? I think I have six backflips, but I just actually do not know because my brain is uh, pretty much useless. Nope, we have six backflips. Let's just take nothing and move on. Chase. Curse time. Grim and Horn. Curse did not happen because of the uh, Obamori. Let's uh, start with the wallet plants. I'm gonna go for maybe a prepare. Don't want to ban right now. I think we do want to slice you and do that to you and get rid of a prepared. A little bit more card draw. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my word. Look at all these fucking thorn potions. You guys are gonna get fucked by thorns. Fucked uh, by thorns uh, in the morning. I will drink a regen potion here. And I will weaken you because. Oh, you're already weakened. Oh well. You're doing a lot of damage. Hey, that's a lot of damage. We're gonna take a look. We're actually gonna probably take more damage in this fight than we're gonna heal up, but I'm gonna attempt to catch up. Do one of these, do one of those, do one of these, do one of these, get rid of that, do one of these, get rid of that. Uh, do a sucker punch. Alchemist. I will dagger here. I'm pretty sure we'll come out ahead of the curve. There you go. Getting a little bit of that heal back. It's really nice. Uh, you obviously want to go. Or prepared, get rid of this because it's annoying. So you weapon, go find ourselves maybe like a six strike. Go dagger spray on you. Get rid of the dagger spray. I'll command that up in here. Um you six strike. Mm, I can mm, do that. I can do this. Easy. So we would like steward cards, uh steward potion with that. Do give me dodge and roll. I like dodge and roll. Uh, we would like steward potions right now. Yeah, pain. We got our curse bonus, which is nice. And uh, um, I don't have really any way to not. I'm gonna take the wife. It's fine. Even though I think it was the wrong choice, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Yeah, it was. Pro it was probably the wrong choice. I, I might have made a mistake with that little wife play, but it's okay. If you don't try something new, you will never know if it would have worked. That's what I always like to say. Okay, so how do you want to start this? I think we should use this potion thing. And uh, I'll use accuracy, I guess, but it really doesn't matter. A um, little bit of this. Get rid of the right. It works out great. We're actually like... I think we're winning this in the long term. Did like 130 damage. We didn't take any damage yet, obviously. We're going to weaken this fool. Okay, now we want intangible this though, because I'm not taking that much damage. Bane. This and this. We're gonna take a lot of damage of pain here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, pain fucked us a little bit. We're gonna take one damage from him anyway. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, come on. It's not what I want, really, but it's okay. Uh, we need like very specific cards to shop, and it's kind of annoying because I, I obviously they're not showing up, <laughs> which is from I missed calculate how that turn was gonna go, but it's okay. Uh, I mean potions. We want potion cards to shop, and we want very specific potions. So. Use this alchemist energy potions really good back up prepared okay give me some of that dodge and roll action play dance I'm gonna have to use one of these play dance again some dagger spray up in here some of shivy 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 okay we use a lot of unnecessary potions there it sucks but it is what it is how many sneak strikes how many sucker punches do I have 
I mean, if I'm gonna go to the end, I've got three sucker punches and uh, six sucker punches, and I only have three sing strikes. We're gonna be taking sing strike here, obviously. Moving on. And if this is not an enemy, we're gonna be a little bit sad. It was an enemy. Oh, we got a steel push. No. Really good. And an intangible push. <sighs> Choices have to be made. Choices have to be made. Choices have to be made. Choices have to be made, and I chose to do it that way, but I'll never know if that was the right choice. And I'm going to choose for my last upgrade to be another Alchemist potion. Because we're going to pop Artifact immediately, and then pop Steroids immediately. So pop Artifact, pop Steroids, boom. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got 14 extra strength. We have 16 extra strength. We are going to probably want Intangible here, but let's see if we can get away with not Intangible first. Doesn't look like actually we will. It's fine. So we don't need to intangible here. This is gonna be a free play, so do it. Do one of these, do one of those, and do one of these. Prepare it up in here, get rid of one of these. We haven't played any powers, so he's got zero boost right now. So we want intangibles right off the bat to stop ourselves from losing our perfect. And uh, I'll exhort I'll do this for fun, whatever. Okay, cool. So we got rid of all three rights already, so we don't have to worry about any more right curses. So now we just need to get through the rest of this without taking damage. So, saw the beautiful Blackfoot. That's eight extra damage. It's beautiful. We'll do one of these. Let's get rid of... Oh, we're going to want to use Secret Weapon, I think. So let's use it. And let's go find ourselves a Sneak Strike. Because Sneak Strike will refund, which is really good. Uh, quick Slash to get us some more card draw. I think a backflip's fine. It's 16. So we have more than enough block right now. So block-wise, we're good. So now we just do damage with all the other cards we want. And I will prepare here just because I can. So far, feeling very good about this. Extra 16 strength makes this fight a lot easier, obviously. I mean, anytime you have 16 extra anything, it always feels good. I get rid of the Banes, I guess. It's a little bit tricky. I'll come my strength potion again. So unless I can knock him down here, which is reasonably unlikely, we will lose the perfect. Can we? We've got three strength. We've got 28. 25. We did not have enough energy. 26. We have enough. We had just enough. Perfect still intact, baby. Beyond perfect still happening right now. Beyond perfect is still happening. Weakness, we should go find a neutralize. We should definitely neutralize this. So I'm going to use thinking ahead. No blocks. We're just not getting any blocks, unfortunately. So we got no blocks, so we lost our perfect. I think that's a little bit unfair, but it's okay. That's really bad for us to just take 30 to the face like that with no, no answer at all. Wow, this is really bad. Drawing both pains like that, really bad for us. Absolutely. Could, could cost us an entire game. But I think that's most of our curses. Yeah, it's most of it, because a couple of regrets left in the deck, but that's okay. Void cards, this is a problem if we draw. 30 incoming damage, wow. So that's a, that's a little bit too much damage, I'm not going to lie to you. Start getting some form of uh, defensive play slash poison going at least. He is vulnerable for a while. Maybe do 100 something damage, it's actually not that undoable. The pain is huge. I'm going to pop this artifact, but I don't know why. Just going to do it for fun, I guess. Doesn't roll me. Do this, do this. Uh, he's dead. Okay. So we lost our Beyond Perfect because we just didn't have an, any blocks in our deck. But I think we're still going to do good. 1,362. Uh, and that's without a Beyond Perfect. I think that's okay. It's, I think it should be top 100. But oh man, not getting that Beyond Perfect just feels so bad. It feels so bad not getting that Beyond Perfect. 100 points lost. 100 points lost. 62nd. 1,462 is where we should have been. Would have been like... Exactly, yeah, we would have been 20-something, so a little bit unfortunate, I lost the Beyond Perfect there at the end, just didn't have any blocks, absolutely no blocks after we um, killed his first form, and his second form just stopped us from getting the, perf the Beyond Perfect, a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. For now though, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Slay the Spy Daily Challenges, this is August 15th, that makes our 10th win, 5 losses, not doing too bad, if I don't say so myself, I uh, would have preferred to have a few less losses at this point, but you know, 5 Five losses is five losses, and ten wins is ten wins, so it's okay. Um, a good run. A pretty good run, I think. We did okay. I uh, messed up a little bit on the Awaken one, probably. I should have thought more defensively. I went for adding a ton of strength to the deck, which was great. Don't get me wrong. I had plus 
17, 18 strength at the end there, but, and without that I wouldn't have got the easy kill like that. But maybe I could have played a little bit, maybe the Weiss, you know, I could have skipped the Weiss, they were really bad anyway. We would have got 6 Madness, which means more Collector's Bonus anyway. So I think that was a mistake. But I was only looking at the damage I was getting from adding Coastal Deck, adding that extra 3 Doodle damage, I thought it was really worth it. And as you can see, it really came in clutch there in the fights, in that final fight, because we could kill things so quickly. And with Gremlin to power up in two first enemies, we could kill the second form reasonably consistently without taking damage. But, I mean, the first form. But then, of course, the second form pops, and if you have no intangible potions slash blocks or after enemies or anything along those lines which we didn't have it does make it slightly more difficult to get that perfect so uh it is what it is uh, i'm very upset we didn't get the beyond perfect we missed that beyond perfect because we just had only attack cards in our deck and that's my bad i added way too many cards to the deck and i added a lot of them were as attacks obviously if you look here it's like there's some potions there's block there's potions i mean i'm gonna say it's potion there's like block uh, power which we kind of we should have never taken while they're playing that was a mistake backflips are good Banes are good blind dance are good clicking daggers are good Daggers plays are good dagger throws are okay dodging runs okay flying knees good piercing well is really good points that was good prepared probably not that many prepares ne needed uh, quick slash is okay slice is okay sneak strike probably didn't want sneak strike either sucker punch is good neutralizes okay survivors okay obviously so you happen to think you had a fine pain regret and writhe are obviously precursors so there was no way we knew that would be positive or negative but i think i should have left the writhe and gone for the six um madnesses because that would have given me extra collector's bonus and then also wouldn't have had a bunch of writhe in my opening hand which potentially slow down the alchemizers i don't know but having nine alchemized pluses in the deck it means we upgraded nine alchemizers that's that's insane. Um, nine alchemized pluses. That's really insane. But uh, it is what it is for now. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Slays by Dailies. If you guys enjoyed it, as I said, please hit that subscribe button. It's super duper awesome episode. I've been mean, getting a lot of nice comments and a lot of more subscriptions from the Slays by series. And it makes me feel really good. I'm very, very happy about it. Thank you so very much. I will see you on the next episode of... Took damage? Or one damage? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, of Slays by Dailies.